Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I just recently got my hands on the Xiaomi Mi Box. If you guys have heard of it before, it's a pretty popular competitor to the Amazon Fire TV boxes. It's an Android TV, and today I'm going to be unboxing this and setting it up to show you guys what it's like. So, quick thank you to the people over at GearBest.com for sending this out to me. They let me go through their website and pick something out, so I chose this to review for you guys. I've never tried this particular box before, so it'll be kind of my first impressions of it. So I'll have a link to the GearBest website in the description below, um, linking to this exact product. Definitely go check them out they also have their black friday sales posted there so you can take a look so anyway with all that being said let's get started with the video okay guys here we go here's a quick look at the box itself here is the front if you're interested and the back this thing's capable of 4k ultra hd plus HDR. If you have a TV that can do HDR, it's pretty nice. It comes with the Google Cast function, so you can actually cast things from your smartphone to this TV. And you have the Google Voice Search, so this is similar to the Alexa voice remote on the Fire Sticks and Fire TVs. Uh, it's just Google's version of that. It's got a quad-core processor, and it's, of course, running Android TV. Nothing too interesting about the box itself, so we're just going to get straight into it. Alright, so first thing in the box, of course, we have the Mi Box itself. And then underneath that is, of course, some regular papers. And here is the power adapter. You can notice that it's the European plug because the version that I got is the international version. Although I am in the US, so I have this little adapter here it'll change it to a US plug. So if you are in the US and you want to get this international version, it will come with this and you could just put one of these in your cart. They're dirt cheap on the GearBest website. They're like 45 cents, I think. Just clicks onto here and turns it into an American outlet. All right, so the next thing is the HDMI cable. I'm glad they include one of these because not a lot of streaming devices do that anymore. And then the last thing is the remote control, of course. Very simple. You got the power button, the arrow keys, the OK button, the back button, the home button, the voice search, and the volume up and down. And then of course batteries go into the back here. It says it takes two triple A's. Unfortunately, mine did not come with batteries. Now I've seen other people unbox this and theirs did come with batteries, so I'm not really sure. But I have some triple A's laying around, so I'm gonna put those in. Okay, so that's it for what's in the box. I just wanna quickly show you the ports on the TV box itself. So we've got the power, the USB, an HDMI, and an eighth inch audio out for plugging in speakers and I guess headphones if you'd really like to. But anyway, this USB port can be used for expanding the memory. From what I remember, this has eight gigs of internal memory um, for apps and stuff like that. You can even plug in a USB hub and get some extra ports because you can use keyboards and mice, and since there's no ethernet port, you can plug in one of these guys to get one. All right, so I'm gonna set everything up, plug it all in, and show you guys what it's like. So let's switch over to that right now. Okay guys, so here's all the initial startup menus and stuff like that. I'm gonna set everything up right now. I'm gonna connect to my Wi-Fi real quick. Now I plugged in a wireless keyboard to the USB port in the back, to make this much easier on myself. As you can see, I was connecting to my five gigahertz Wi-Fi. So this does support dual band Wi-Fi. You can use your 5G. Now it's just asking me to set up my Google account. Now the setup is complete. It's very simple. Looks like this is our home screen. This is my first time using this box, so this is all new to me as well. Looks pretty decent. So I guess they already have some preloaded apps on here for you. You can see Netflix, Sling, uh, Hulu, Pandora. Here's Pluto TV. If you guys haven't seen my video on that, I just made a video about this recently. It's actually a pretty good app that gives uh, basically a free TV service. 
So I'm glad to see that that's on here. Another thing I noticed is the official YouTube app right here. Now this is something different than the Fire TV because the Fire TV actually doesn't have the official YouTube app anymore. It's obviously going to be on here because it's an Android TV box and they work hand in hand with Google. But it uh, looks like a lot of the apps need some updates right out of the box, which is fine. I expect that. If there's particular apps that you're looking for, you're going to use the Google Play Store that's on here to download other apps. There's a home page, a games tab, and then here's the section where you can see all of your apps. And you can also uninstall some of the stuff that's on here if you don't want it. And you can set up parental controls, uh, auto update feature, yeah, so up here on the top is where you're going to be able to search things up. You can use your voice using the microphone button on the remote control, or you can just click the little keyboard button there and type out what you want to search up. Overall, I like the look of this home screen. It's pretty neat. Uh, you got the time in the top right, all your apps right here, and... If you go down some more, here's your settings and Wi-Fi. Okay guys, so that's about it. If you wanted to know anything that I didn't cover in this video, just leave a comment below. I'll definitely help you out. Once again, thanks to GearBest.com for giving this to me to show you all. Definitely check them out in the description below. They're going to have some pretty good Black Friday deals coming up if you're watching this before Black Friday. I'll link directly to this box in the description as well as that little adapter if you're from the u.s and want to get the international version you'll find that so yeah i think that's it for today's video guys i hope you have a great day and i'll see you guys next time